Good day. I am sharing with you right now one of the success stories we in our class did as part of our classroom and learners' action on waste management. This movement is entitled Walking Map Activity for Climate Change Mitigation. Infanta National High School is where I work and teach, located at Infanta, Quezon, Philippines. Our school is categorized as urban with grade levels from 7 up to grade 12. Currently, we have 5,030 students enrolled having teaching and non-teaching force of 198. Being the largest secondary school in town, catering different learners from all walks of life, having various stakeholders within the community, dealing with proper waste and garbage disposal should be highlighted and practiced in school and at home. In line with the country's decree and regulations, our school is finding ways to mitigate what is threatening our environment, as mandated also by different memorandums from different agencies and offices, creating clubs and sustainable projects having proactive officers and members are essential and highly needed. My school project happens guided by the department's curriculum with learning competency that learners should explain and illustrate personal contributions that can actually solve the problem of climate change provided with a lesson plan congruent to its competency having three specific objectives. Some of the highlights of walking map activity for climate change mitigation can be found and seen from the screenshots that was taken from our subject's official Facebook group where the students participate and exchange their ideas, make comments, reactions, and contribute to the flow and continuity of the discussions. Even during their free time, they can share inputs because this happens asynchronously. Guided by the challenging questions posted by me, students were able to express their deep learning and understanding of the concluded activity doing walking map approach. Some of them even pointed out that they can do this at home, within their own backyard or neighborhood. Other students claim that they can do the same action along and with the help of their family members and other relatives within their community. Students even posted their works on their social media account like Facebook and YouTube channel. Knowing that their participation can be an example to others worth emulating and doing. Simply to start a spark, doing positive and proactive action that can be sustained. This is the reason why I highly recommend and encourage them to use specific hashtags for their work so that it can be easy to find and locate on the web. Using platforms the learners are very much adept at will be convenient for them to take part. I strongly believe that they can continue and make positive impact for our future citizenry and for the environment in general. Thanks for watching. God bless.